Hi guys, my name is Paul Galvez and today I will be sharing with you uh, ang aking updates sa aking minimalist church. So yun na nga, so this recent um, pag-uwi ko sa Pilipinas, which was like two weeks uh, ago, no? yeah, two weeks ago, and yun na-plan ko na sa isipan ko kung how am I going to convert my stuff. So because I've been doing the convert method uh, here in Brunei, um, I would say na madali na lang siya sa akin pag-uwi ko sa Pilipinas. Kumbaga sabihin na lang natin ba mga factors dito is yung mga bagay ng mga parents ko na napunta na sa kwarto namin and it was really, I would say, frustrating at first pero you know, you just need to trust the process and hindi ka nga niyo where you trust the tiny gods na sasamahan ka lang all throughout ng iyong journey sa pagkatay. So syempre, uunahin natin ang uh, damit o yung clothing which is number one sa convert method. So as you can see sa mga videos na ipopost ko dito, I do really have a ton, as in ton of shirts, of pants, of stuff, basta as in ang tsaka niya. So kung makikita nyo dito, yung left side ang sa akin and then yung right side sa kapalit ko. So ever since I have been, um, and I'm so envy, Tama ba English ko? Actually, uh, I envy my brother sa pagiging organized niya. Kasi nga siya yung type 1. Well, I would be mixing up a little bit of uh, ano ba, mga terms from the Enneagram and whatever. Kasi yun yun. So, my brother is a type 1 uh, personality. Eh, nakakatuwa sa kami siya. He's always organized. Uh, parati mahayos yung kama niya, uh, mahayos yung mga gabit niya. Kumbaga, he has this system na hinate sa kanya. So, upon opening my... my ano, my... Cabinet. Nakita ko nga na ang dami-dami kong mga gamit. Tapos yung kanya, I would say, nag-i-imposed sila. So, ayun. So, parang, di ba, may ganun akong dilemma. So, I started by removing all of my stuff from the cabinet. So, talaga may kita mo yung space na meron ka. So, kalahati, syempre, nung, nung left is walang naman. Dahil sa akin nga naman yun. So, I placed everything in the floor. Um, sabi kasi ni Marie, eh, sa gitna doon ng room. Pero kasi ako ginawa ko, I piled everything in the middle para makita ko siya as a big a pile of, in a way, sorry, it's a term of, of trash. And then within the trash, I would really sort them out what really sparks joy. So, dahil nga, na-train na din ako for a year, uh, madali na lang yung naging process ko when it comes to convert my stuff. So, it was actually a quick uh, yes, no, yes, spark joy, spark no, spark no joy, something like that. And I was able to reduce, I would say, um, it from, I would say na 90% ng mga gamit ko, inatapon ko. And this is one thing na maganda din pala na nakuha ko method is you could see your own personal style. Kumbaga parang along the way kasi di ba we try to you know do some styles na akala natin eh mag-fit sa atin but unfortunately it doesn't tapos natago na lang natin sila sa mga ano natin sa closets natin because it, you, know, you know maybe the future what if pumaya tayo or what if magkasya na to sa atin and stuff like that. And mahal kasi to kaya we tend to keep it. But because of my minimalistic uh, training na rin I was able to sort everything out and I was able to you know discard all of the things that doesn't really spark joy. So one thing na maganda din sa Conmary method is yung folding system niya kasi it's really uh, amazing how it really transformed my closet into something pleasing to the eyes. Before kasi it's really you know it's not really pleasing for me to open it and you know get my stuff. Ngayon talaga it's really nice, it's spacious. Um, Everything was able to fit in sa tatlo, tatlong shoe boxes yung mga damit ko plus yung mga nakahang. So nakita ko na ang damit ko pala ay nag-range lamang sa mga white, blue, gray, and black. That's formal wear. So nakikita ko talaga na parang aligned ako maging sikat na diva na classical singer. <laughs> Kiniklaim ko na siya sa video ko to. Next naman ay yung mga books. So I didn't realize na I would be having a lot, as in like a lot of books sa aking stash. Um, nagulat ako na I have been keeping books since I was in college. And especially mga pieces na mga naka-zero. So, uh, just a short kwento. Uh, there are some offers in my stash na mga ano sila, photocopy na kasi nga dati kasi dapat may offer na kami sa Singapore but it didn't na Singapore. May, na kami nangyayari sa Singapore. <laughs> so, um, yung Singapore na yun, it didn't manifest it. So, what I did is tinago ko yung tatlong malalaking opera books na yun. But it's all, ano naman eh, uh, na dito, photocopy. So, sabi ko, baka kasi magkaroon ako ng, ng opera na ganun in the next few years. Pero it didn't came. So, what I did is, yun nga, nagbabay na ako at nagpasalamat. 
Yeah, and don't forget pala to take all of your stuff before discarding them. So I forgot to tell you this nung nandun sa damit. As in, I was even, um, and I, I got actually emotional nung nagbababay na ako sa mga damit ko. Kasi there are certain, um, there are certain memories that are attached to every piece of item that we tend to discard. Such as sa mga damit ko, may mga damit ako dun na nasuot ko nung hindi naging maganda yung job interview ko. Which is, you know, I would say it's okay, it's not about you, it's about the situation mga <laughs> ganun tapos yung sa mga iba pang mga items such as parang sinuot ko to nung pumunta ako ng Thailand and it really sparks joy pa rin sa akin so you know yeah, I would be keeping those stuff so yun nga going back naman sa mga books uh, ang dami kong mga diniscard especially yung mga photocopy lang yung mga bakay ko kasi nga yung nangyari what I really like about our uh, technology nowadays is I was able to put everything in my iPad so wag na sana maloko yung iPad ko and everything would be good. So, nandun yung vakay ko, yung konpone, yung solfeggio box, nandun na from 1 to 4. Um, so, it's really good. So, I was able to discard everything with a, you know, with an open heart. Tapos yung mga etude books din na mga hindi ko naman nagamit na rin, such as Panofka and other, kasi mga, pero hindi ko tinapon yung mga Marquesi ko kasi I still live with those uh, ideas and techniques, I would say. Lalo yung mga skills nila. Tapos nangyari, after naman ng music books, nakita ko na I do have some certain uh, patterns na nakikita ko sa sarili ko na until now, I would say na nakoconfirm ko and affirm na doon pa rin pa punta yung buhay ko. Next naman in life are yung mga tarot books ko. Now, don't get me wrong, eh, tinapong ko lahat ng tarot books ko na libre doon sa tarot deck. Kasi why? Alam ko na yung meaning sila. Kung baga magkalokohan man tayo lahat, alam ko yung meaning ng bawat cards. Ang tinapong ko lang is yung mga free. Now, what I tend to leave Iniwan ko lang talaga is my first ever tarot card book no? na may tarot book na walang tarot card na doon ako nag-resent that dahil nga hindi ko alam kung saan ako bibili but it really sparked a lot of memories sa akin good memories because ito yung naging starting point ko when it comes to um, doing my tarot journey and what I really got emotional when I was like flipping the page after after not during the process was Almost all ng mga decks na nandoon sa may book na yun, eh meron na ako ngayon. Which is yung bata ako, I didn't really know how I'm going to um, achieve all of those. So, you know, uh, dami na din natin pasasalamatan ika. Next naman in line sa mga books ko ay mga self-help books. So, nagulat ako na I have been a fan of self-help books ever since. So, I would say na naiwan sa mga self-help books ko is yung mga talagang bagay na nag-spark joy na lang talaga sa akin. At saka nag-spark ng mga mga ideas na ginagawa ko ngayon. So, unfortunately, hindi kasama sa mga books ko na nasa Philippines yung Conmary Method which is yung The Magic of Tidying Up at yung Sparks of Because mga audio books na sila. So, si Marina rin nagsabi kasi na kung kung at alam ito, kung okay naman din naman na kung manalaman may information by audio books so, ikaw nga wala naman siya magagawa doon. Kung baga, ang sinasabi ko lang is I'm a fan of self-help books. So, yun una, um, Celestine Prophecy wherein lahat daw ng insights, nine insights yun eh. Now we all share the same uh, ideas and stuff like that, mga gano'n. Anyhow, to cut a long story short, nandun siya. Kasama din dun yung uh, Enneagram. Yeah, yung Enneagram. Tagal ko dun na. Enneagram books. So, utang na loob ko pa rin sa kanya ang mga alam ng mga personality. And I would like to thank that. As usual, a big shout out to our guidance and counseling department of the University of Santo Tomas for introducing me to those uh, ideas na till now eh, pinangahawakan ko pala. Tapos next naman is mga novels. Nagulat ako ng mga novels ko yung isa lang sila ng theme. So it's either sikat yung tao na yung babae o sino man siya. Sikat yung tao na na liligawan ng parang isang super duper ko ako na guy. Basta ganun. You, you get my point. So paper trails ayun nga pala. So after ng books is yung paper trails natin. So yung sa mga paper trails ko sinapa ko na dito yung mga photocopy ng mga kung ano-ano mga bagay. Especially kapag marami na akong copies ng isang pyesa, tinatapon ko na sila kasi tapon talaga. Next naman is yung mga miscellaneous o mga miscellaneous mga miscellaneous stuff. So ito yung mga bagay ng mga sobrang shampoo, sobrang uh, hair color, sobrang eme, so mga sobrang cord. So dito, ang dami kong tinapon. So first is I tried starting sa mga hair color. So nakita ko sa sarili ko na I have tried a lot of hair colors in my life, including bleaching and including gray color. So, Nakita ko na within my stay last year, I'm, I'm still staying naman pala sa Brunei, nakita ko yung mga bagay na, especially yung color talaga na nasusuit sa akin, lalo na sa other ko, other tone ko. So, so tatlo lang siya, ash brown, and ash gray, and black. 
So, nandun lang siya. Umiikot. Kung baga, wala na sa akin yung mag-tryout ng red or yung mga orange, mga sobrang na-bleach yung buhok. So, mga, so wala na sa akin. Kung baga, I've learned from the past and I would say, I'm thankful na alam ko na yung mga kulay na meron ko. And to cut the long story short, nagulat ako, ang dami ko pang kulay sa bahay. So, what I did, tinapong ko silang lahat. Next naman na yung mga uh, cords na mga mga electronics at saka yung mga bagay na akala ko ay magagamit ko pa. So, marami akong mga past phones na, na still you uh, pwede pa rin gamitin. Minsan ginagamit ko sila pero dahil nga yun nga eh bago na naman din naman yung gamit kong phone, hindi ko na nagagamit iba. So, to cut the long story short, uh, I promise one of my uh, neighbors here sa Brunei na I will be giving her my spare phones which is I hope na she was able to find and spark joy. It was able to spark joy to her. I, I hope that she could, you know, use it in her liking. So it's still in good condition. So I gave it to her. Tapos yung may iba kong phones, such as yung Blackberry. It, it was really a korot in the heart while seeing everything. So yung Blackberry ko, I was a Blackberry person. Tapos yung mga Nokia ko. Eh, hindi na talaga kasi sila umaandar. At saka natapyas na yung mga ibang buttons niya. So ika nga, wala naman din akong gagawin yung CU ng sarili ko. So sabi ko, itapon ko na lang din sila. Kung baga, I tried discarding everything. Last but not the least, I am mga sentimental items na I would really say na it's really hard parting uh, yourself away from it. So here are some of the stuff that I would share when it comes to this. So nangyari kasi, a lot of people would say na parang dahil nga sa Conmary method ko plus sa minimalism ko na idea is you'll throw everything kung wala kang iiwan. Unfortunately, that's not the thing. Ang sabi nga ni Marie Kondo is we need to leave everything that sparks joy. So, I left, parang ba, I left stuff na mga nagsuspark joy lang talaga sa akin. So, it was really funny kasi marami akong mga ang dami itong mga sentimental items from the past na na tinago ko sa church yung mga binigay sa akin na pictures ni Ganyan, pictures namin ni Sumi Jo, pictures ng kung anik-anik, mga regalo ni someone, yung mga ganyan. So, it was all actually in a box. So, tinanggal ko yung box na yun tapos I dealt it as last. It was, I would say na I, it took me like five days para lang makumplete ko yung buong task. And another day ata, just to guard my stuff from my mom. Kasi yung mom ko medyo scavenger fan siya. Kasi nga, sabi nga din ni Mario na, if you're going to have a tidying spree, hopefully sana wala kang mag-anak kang nakakita. Kasi they would actually be the, the person na magkukuha sila. Ika nga, parang exorcism kasi ang pagka-tidy up. Kung baga maglalabasan yung mga demonyo. <laughs> Sorry yung term. Kapag nagta-tidy up ka na parang sabihin, eh, matanda ako na, eh, di ba ano ka na wala? So, yun yung mga heads up lang natin na pwede. Next naman is yung mga Thailand and Mario Power. Mario Power Memorabilia. So, I would say naman din, I know I got, ano ba term? I got lost. Dahil sa kanya, hindi naman niya alam din. And I found my way back home na naman. Dahil na naman sa kanya, in a way. So, ika nga, basta mal madami akong naging realizations ngayon, especially after kung mag, ano na, personality development ko. Na, I would say na Mario Power was able to help me achieve whoever I am right now. As a idol. Kung ba, hindi naman niya ako literally na kakilala or whatever. So, what happened here is tinapong ko 90% ng mga bagay na hindi na nag-spark joy sa kanya. So, ano yung, ano, ano, ano yung mga yun? So, una is yung mga bagay yung mga nabili ko from Thailand na hindi na talaga nag-spark joy. Such as yung mga Madame Tussad, mga gano'n. Talagang tinapong ko siya yung mga resibo ko sa Thailand. I actually placed it in a paper bag ni Mario Bauer. Kasi nga sabi ko, eh, ito kasi yung ano niya, yung memory niya. But, you know, after doing my Conmary method, it's not just that. It needs to spark joy. Anyhow, so kanda lang story short, ang mga naiwan na lang niya is yung pabango niya, kasi may laman pa. Kasi nga, natutuwa ako pag naamoy ko, naalala ko siya. Yung isang toy na lang niya, without the box, na may ano niya, tinapong ko na yung toy na may, ano siya, may, na may enter ito? Pangalan niya sa lip, na sinulatan niya for me. Pero, hindi na kasi siya nagsispark joy. Iniwan ko na lang yung original na toy niya, without the box, at saka yung CDs niya na, yun yun, yung pa-concert niya. So, wala na tatawa lang ako na ang pangit niya sumayaw. But, you know, it gives me those memories na parang hindi pala siya talaga perfect. Hindi to pa nila it. It's just me accepting na tao pala si Mario na nag naging catalyst lang siya of inspiration towards me na maging, you know, whoever I am right now like, to be the improved version of myself. So, ito pala. So, these are some of my reasons kaya ako si Brunei din naman binibideo itong uh, video ko. It's because I don't really have a place at home. It was an issue, right? Actually, na I was able to, uh, to address to my parents and especially to my brother. Sabi ko kasi sa kanila na as a minimalist kasi I know we do have small stuff na lang in our lives. Actually, sabi ko nga pwede nga akong 
umuwi na ng Pilipinas at nakalagay lang sa isang malete mga gamit ko. Which is, I'm so proud. Because before, ang dami kong gamit, mga ganun. Anyhow, to cut the long story short, hindi nila really respect yung stuff ko. Did you know that I slept in the guest room na punong-puno pa rin ng gamit? So, nangyari, ang nagagamit ko lang dun sa guest room is yung kama ko. Plus, yung hindi ko nga din natanggal lahat ng gamit ko from my luggage. Ganun na lang talaga kasikip sa bahay. Kasi nga, si mommy, naging order na siya. Tapos, you know, lahat na si daddy din order niya siya ng mga books kasi nga daw baka daw basahin daw niya lahat. Tapos yung kapatid ko, he's struggling na, you know, to have his space, his own identity at home. And unfortunately, natapin yung mga gamit ko. Kasi nagulat ako na, na 80%, no, not really 80%, sabi natin, 20 to 40% of my stuff ay nakalagay na sa bag. Na parang, eh, ikaw na mag-ayos niyan, parang may ganun silang ano. Parang, I was really shocked because I was able to verbalize and vocalize ang kanila na, Ah, uh, pag-uwi ko, ayusin ko lahat yan. Huwag nyo lang galawin. Parang kapit lang kayo. Well, anyhow, pass is pass. Ang sabi ko na sa kanila. So, ngayon kayo sa Brunei, I still consider my place, this my apartment, as my sacred spot. Kumbaga, ito talaga yung feel ko na aking talaga. Na it's walang clutter yung sa area ko. I was able to update my Conmary method again. And I would say na I'm successful sa mga bagay na mga nagawa ko ngayon. So, ayun yung mga nangyari. Kaya sabi ko, dito ko na lang i-video to. Kasi wala akong space sa bahay. Tapos, Pati sala din namin, masikip na, it's all cluttered. Yung uh, leg room, mahirap na rin kasi every time nauusog ng ganun, may magbubuka and stuff like that. So for people who would like and who would love and like to try the tidy KonMari method uh, kind of journey, I would, highly, uh, I would highly suggest na you need to start first with an idea or a goal or a mindset of the thing na gusto nyo makuha after tidying. Kasi ako, I was very clear and I was able to verbalize it, especially to my friends, na I would love, and to my family members, na gusto ko yung place na titirahan ko is very cozy. Yung puno ng ilaw, parang ayan, si mo, ang ganda ng lighting ko, it's in the morning. Tapos, uh, mag, mag, parang siyang hotel, pero walang TV kasi nga, hindi ka nga ko naman as a minimalist, parang iniwasan ko na yung distract, distraction. So, actually, spawn ng mga lang, dami ang distraction. So yun, uh, I was able to verbalize that. Gusto ko yung maganda yung sleep ko. Gusto ko yung pwede ako limang araw to a week na walang linis-linis and okay pa rin yung place ko. Which is true, nangyari siya after I came back home from my vacation. Kung anong inalisan ko yung parin na datan ko lugar. Which is really a very, para ba ito, comfortable and welcoming um, site. Lalo na sa akin na scattered minsan ng isipan. Tapos one thing din na I have observed na, as you can see, I'm wearing my black v-neck shirt. So I bought like, uh, 14 of this. So, one person na pinafollow ko as a minimalist is si Matt Diavela. So, I'll be posting his uh, link here, somewhere here. So, si Matt Diavela kasi sa kanya ko natutunan na talagang naka, ano siya, parang, parang yung term, wardrobe capsule ba yun? Bumili na ako ng 14 ng ganito. So, if ever in a week hindi ako makapaglaba, it's okay. Kasi nangyari, mayroon pa rin naman akong se uh, 7 more na black v-necks and other colors. May gray ako. Yun. Black and gray. So, ang nangyari dito, wala na, hindi na ako masyadong takot na paulit-ulit yung mga damit ko. I mean, not really paulit-ulit na hindi ko din alam saan, pero paulit-ulit yung tura. Because, ito yung nakuha ko naman from Marie Kondo, na, di ba ang simple lang niya? If you have watched her tidying up shows in Netflix or wherever, pwede din naman sa YouTube, uh, makikita niyo na she's just alone, wala siyang bag, wala siyang whatever, kumbaga sarili lang niya. And then her insight is more than enough to change a person's life in one visit. So, yun yung gusto ko ma-attract in my in my future. Ano. Actually, I would like to share to you na right now, I'm actually in a dilemma if I would continue my music journey as a teacher or I would like to, you know, pursue my career as a singer. As a singer na talaga. As an opera singer. Sabi ko rin naman kasi one of my goals as 2019. Before pala mag-2019, inaayos ko na yung ano ko na, as my parang yung sumijo level or ready of But in my Paul Dominic Galvez journey, so, nandun ako sa point ngayon, ika nga, sa, uh, sabi ko nga parati, if I would be quitting my job right now, it's okay, kumbaga, kaya kong dalhin lahat ng gamit ko within one maleta. Yung wala akong masyadong iisipin, pwede kong iwiwan na lang iba kong mga gamit dito for the next teachers. So, I'm not saying that this is a threat, kumbaga, kumapanin man doon ang boss ko, pero what I'm trying to say right now, but because of recent events in the school, which are, and I would say, not aligning, uh, made me realize who I am talaga, slash, nag-tidy din kasi ako, plus nag-personality development. 
So yun na nga guys, so that's an update of my minimalist slash covering method uh, tidying spree in Tai Tai and my update ngayon sa place ko ngayon sa Brunei. So I hope you like this video and if you do like this video, please do give me a thumbs up and I will be linking a lot of people in my description uh, box down below if you would like to see people that I do follow uh, sa pagiging minimalist ko. So obviously dyan si Marie Kondo and si Mati Abela. So yun na nga guys, if you would like to follow me on my minimalist journey, um, you can follow me on my Facebook page which is called Dominic Galvex. And in my Instagram and my YouTube channel which is XXX Tenor, XXX, so triple X Tenor, triple X. So nangyari, um, yeah, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel para at least makita nyo naman yung mga YouTube videos mo. Ano. So yun lang naman. So I hope you have learned. If not learned, I hope I was able to spark joy sa inyo sa aking mga videos na to. And hope to see you soon in my next video. Bye-bye!